Hello, this is Princess Ilka for you. And as you were sleepy, baby, I did actually wrote my first song in the morning on the paper all by myself without you. It took me like forever, I have to say, and not because I'm stupid. Now, the situation is having such a brilliant mind is mine or us. It also enhances the possibility of looking at very many options. And those who don't have that mind, they don't have any options. So having all these options sometimes gives us doubt. So as I looked into it, I find now for the rhythm, and it's one of the most intrinsically complicated rhythms of them all, one of them, or not, yet um, it's not like the basic. I mean, basics is usually like four fours and even three quarters, and even that is to be doubted when you look again at what actually music means. But here it is, and it's not for me to teach you how to make it happen, because this wouldn't be the right approach. You should start more simple. But I found a way to write it down. And the only thing I had to establish was well, first I had to actually make sure which is going to be the time value here in order to know how many notes fit in one of those measures or bars. So I figured six eighths and I put it on the side what it means. But basically we have six notes with the value of an eighth note. Not a whole, not a half, not a quarter, but an eighth note. Wait eighth note now there is not only one way to put um any music into a score there is not only one way to establish it there could be many ways i could have whoopsie Minzy. i could have chosen something else as long as it's mathematical valuable as long as it is works and she wants to be in the picture too okay you can't step on my fruit mommy so I could have chosen something else, but this is what I did for now. And the option sometimes, it's really hard to start something when you haven't had that something should be different, or maybe it is. And anyhow, with the limited resources I have, which is just the iPhone and my finger to tap the rhythm, I figured how to establish those, which of course I named here as eighth note. Oh yeah, eighth note. Oopsie. Not as quarters, that's kind of weird. Never mind, that's what I did now. Maybe I have to correct it. But well, the idea right now is not to publish a book because it's already somewhere written. I had to have a reference for myself. And that's what I had to do. I had to figure out where is the rhythm. Oh, where is it on the beat and of the beat and finding all the different varieties. And that takes a while, really it does. It took a quite a long while. So what you have to do, you have to just figure what the beat is. And six is a lot of notes, so dang, dang. Da, 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 I fear from six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Da, 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 da. And I have to subdivide it. I don't even know why I'm saying this. Subdivide it. I'm so uncomfortable here. So uncomfortable in this little table. Stop it, Minzy. My kitty, she is pushing because she wants to be in the middle of attention. Um, so you have to subdivide it into up and down, up and down in order to achieve to know what's going on with the half of the original value so this is what you have to do and this is what i did so here's the song i'm just not going to go further in it and i did also the next one and that took a very very long time to establish because again since i wasn't really sure if the three quarters would be the correct value or wouldn't it be because it depends on where you start when you establish the time signature and maybe everything i'm saying is absolutely confusing but here you can't start on one So you have to wear, where is one? So when you do your rhythm, you have to feel into the music if you just want to establish something. Where is the one beat? Da, 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 da. And where are the accents and the emphasis of the beat in order to know which is the one you're going to be using and which notes fit in. And basically it's just math at the end. How many notes fit in that measure is the math you have to make. So. What am I enhancing here is maybe just perhaps that I am willing to go to like great lengths and measures to actually figuring out the most complicated things. And often just I start right off there. I do it from the very beginning. Do the very complicated things first because the, the small ones, the small issues, the pity things, they bore me. They absolutely bore me. So here you go. And yes, um, if you would like to use that what is called staff paper to write down scores don't do this with like in the book i i i 
practiced a little bit. I warmed up with practicing this song and I can barely read it because I am used to read scores and this just uh, a thing like this, a booklet, doesn't work. Um, do you have to make it or buy it and stuff or you have to make it very close to, very near to how the original paper where you can write score which is called stuff actually looks like in order to get an approximation and an approach and a feeling for the notes too because eventually they're going to come in automatically when you learn which is notice which is what and this is all i have to say for now i don't want to disclose it but no it takes work and it takes attention and this is all what it is and it's good to go bye ciao minty come here say bye look up there we go. Show your beautiful face. Show your beautiful face. Come, look up. There you go. <laughs> okay, so it's not chow yet. So uh, I haven't really shown you anything because why, why am I going to tell you how to play the flute if I'm just learning it myself? But well, what the one issue and point I can make is that it takes time to get used to it and that you must start slowly and first you must find the notes. And when you find the notes, you must do it slowly. And they have to be equal. Let me see. Now these are already like super advanced level notes I picked here, I don't know why, <laughs> I mean it's like because of the finger positioning in the C flute, that's only the only reason why. The finger, and of course, there's another phrase, let me repeat. That's the second part of the song. Let me see if I remember the first one. So even if you write it in the notes, or even if you don't write it in the notes, no matter what, you still have to think in your head, where is the pace position of that particular note until you have it in you until you practice so much that you don't have to think about it like driving a car. So it's my first note. Now any instrument where you have to blow in, you have to make it clear, precise, and you have to keep the note in the same spot. So good is this, which is already a very hard note. It's an EB. Opposite to now I know since I come from the voice that you have to make clear and sure that there's more sound and less air. So this is wrong. And right then. That means you're sitting on my score so I can't really have to think where it is. No, my cat is missing. I'm sitting on this score. I can't even read it. See, and I, I'm looking at the finger chart. Now, do I really want to do that? Do I always want to look at the finger chart? Or do I spend the moment to actually look? No, she just wrote on the floor. Finger chart. So if I look at the instructions, I have to follow the instructions and not my heart and not my wish. So even when you know the melody, you have to still find it wherever you play. The keyboard would be so much easier or the piano than the flute because it's more you know, self-explanatory. And I'm telling you this coming from a place where I actually do play a few of them instruments, <laughs> but never the flute. So let's see. Now, am I going to wishing to read the chart? And now this chart, which one was the note again? Or am I going to just memorize where on earth do I find it here? Because that's what it ultimately comes down to. You have to memorize where you find it and then you can do with or without writing. When you see people, you know, professionals playing, they play everything by heart. They don't need to look because they're played it so often. It's just part of them. But when you do that, you also, of course, have an awareness when you, when you pick these or the other notes, which notes you're actually talking about. They have a very clear awareness about that and that I wish to tell you, it would be a great advantage when you do anything. So let me see. See, this is not easy. It's my second day I do this. Because I don't move any finger. I just move my breath and the mouth barely. And my face, none. So I had to look that up.
and repetition. So where is it again? These are extremely complicated finger positions already on my flute. Do it again and again. And then you get with the next little segment of your melody. Now what was the next note? You just had it. together and that's how it goes again this next one and concentration to do this and also think about in your head at least that's how i do it where are my fingers actually right now so much concentration yeah i sound like a pro right i'm staying number nine <laughs> fine so the tone is the first thing you have to figure uh, the note pretty nice and pretty pretty played and speed that's not really relevant at all it comes later once you get the tones ready eventually and you remember the whole melody or you can read it either way then you can slowly play the whole thing then you have to make sure that you're in some kind of rhythm it can be very slow you start off very very slow and then you feel safer then you can still go and do it faster and that's all there is to it so I have to say, it's Celia says that I'm, I'm totally incredible and amazing. I do this because it's so hard and the people don't do it until like the fifth year of playing with the flute. See what a waste of time that is. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but man, five years to do that. No wonder people get discouraged. No, I will. I will do all the scales. I will do all of it. But studying the scales, like you see, that's the difference between singing opera. There you have to vocalize like at least five years to even start singing a melody. But in flute, no, you can play any type of melody, which of course it'd be better if you just play a simple one, not like I did right now and I'm doing. Any type of melody to feel encouraged and eventually while well, the drunk, the push comes, I want to play the scales and I want to do them right. But since I played these songs, I mean, each song comes from a scale. So I already have pretty much the scale up. I get used to it. And this is really hard. This song is really, really hard on the flute to find the right nice finger positioning and since i am sensitive to finding the right sound it's not that hard at all it just took a while to figure what are my options because you see this is really not that self-explanatory <laughs> anyway see ya <laughs>